In a recent video, we tested grinding wheels. I had a lot of requests to test flap disc. When it comes to grinding as well as polishing metal, oftentimes the flap disc is the tool of choice. So let's get the testing underway and see which one of these flap discs is the best. The only way to get fair and accurate testing results is to take humans out of the testing process as much as possible. I've got a grinder on a pivoting arm that moves freely and I'm gonna plug this thing in to start the test and unplug it when the test is over with. We have five pounds of weight on top of the grinder. I've done some testing and five pounds seems to be the right amount for the 3 16 inch rusty steel. Now this is the first test and the next test we're gonna actually increase the amount of weight and the amount of time that we use for the test. And this is more of an endurance test to see which of these products can hold up to a lot of heat we're not going to achieve good test results if this piece of steel isn't in constant motion. So this is on a rotating wheel that's going to allow this piece of steel to get ground evenly during the entire test. I went ahead and weighed each piece of steel. Once this test is complete, we'll remove the steel and see how much weight has been removed. All the flat discs are 40 grit except the Warrior, which is 36 grit. The least expensive product we'll be testing is the Warrior brand, the Makita, Walter, Diablo, DeWalt, and Norton. Weighing in at 71 grams, the Warrior is the lightest and the least expensive flat disc we'll be testing. So if you take the length and the width of each one of these little sandpaper squares and then count the number of squares, you get a total of 42.3 square inches of sandpaper material with the Warrior brand. I bought the Makita in a pack of five, which did help some with the cost. I figure individually this might cost a little bit more than $4.59. The Makita flat, this is about middle of the pack regarding weight, weighing in at 89 grams. So you get 48.1 square inches of sandpaper material with the Makita brand. Weighing in at 99 grams, the Walter is one of the heavier flat discs we'll be testing. The Walter disc, unlike some of the competition, can actually be trimmed back some to get more use out of the flat disc. The Walter brand has 53.9 square inches of sandpaper material. The Diablo is the second heaviest flat disc we'll be testing, weighing in at 103 grams. The Diablo has 65.6 square inches of sandpaper material, which is the most of any of the products we'll be testing. Just by weight and appearance alone, the DeWalt seems to be overpriced compared to the competition. This actually costs more than the Diablo, even though it only weighs 79 grams, the second lightest product we'll be testing. It just doesn't seem like it's properly priced compared to some of the other products. The DeWalt costs twice as much as the Warrior brand, but only contains 10% more sandpaper material. So this has got to be some really good sandpaper in order to make this a good value. The most expensive flat disc we'll be testing is the Norton. It also weighs the most at 122 grams. Just like the Walter wheel, this is a trimmable disc. The Norton has the second most sandpaper material, only beat by the Diablo. The metal used to test the Warrior brand started off at 1,008 grams. It now weighs 1,000 grams. Since it was just a short one minute test, we wouldn't expect much damage to be done to the flat disc, but we're gonna take a close look at each one to see how much damage occurred. There's definitely some indication of wear. You can see where a lot of sandpaper has torn away from the actual paper itself. While it did remove eight grams of metal, as you'll see, it just did not cut very deep into the rust scale itself. The piece of metal used in the Makita test weighed 1,024 grams. It now weighs 1,003 grams. So if you compare the Makita to the Warrior brand, you can tell it definitely cut a lot deeper and it did a lot better job as far as removing the rust scale itself. So this is a new Makita wheel, this is a used one, and you can see a huge difference. There was a lot of wear in this wheel, probably more than the Harbor Freight. Obviously it removed more than twice as much material, but it came at a price. The metal used to test a Walter flap disc weighed 1,005 grams, and now weighs 995 grams, a loss of 10 grams of steel. 
So the Walter wheel did a lot better than Makita, although there is some wear of the sand grit material on the very leading edge. There's been some loss, not nearly as much as the Makita wheel. A close look at the steel that the Walter blade cut on, you can see that it did a really good job as far as getting down to the steel past a lot of the rust scale. So a piece of steel used in the Diablo test started off at 1,007 grams. It now weighs 993, a loss of 14 grams. The Diablo did a pretty decent job of removing the rust scale. The Diablo did pretty good as far as wear and tear, there is a little bit of grit loss along the leading edge just like with all the other brands comparing the new to the used you can see that this Diablo wheel has a lot of life left in it. The piece of steel used in the DeWalt test started off at 1,041 grams. Compared to the competition DeWalt did not do quite as good of a job removing the rust scale. Comparing the new DeWalt wheel to the used one you can see there's a lot of wear and tear on the leading edge of the sandpaper. So the DeWalt wheel just doesn't seem to be quite as durable as some of the competition. The metal used in the Norton test started off at 1,013 grams. It now weighs 1,004, a loss of 9 grams. Compared to the competition, the Norton definitely did a very good job of cutting through the rust scale and getting down to the clean steel. This is the new Norton wheel. This is the used one. And as you can see, there's very little wear and tear on the Norton wheel compared to some of the competition. The second test involves using the same exact piece of metal that we used the first time, but just flipping it over and then running it for twice as long with twice as much weight to see how the flat disc withstands the heat and the pressure. This is the metal that was used on the Warrior Wheel started off at 1,000 grams. It's down to 996, so it only lost 4 grams this time. It's very hard to see all the sandpaper that's torn away from the flat disc because the backing and the sandpaper are the same color. However, there is a lot of damage to this wheel. This is the piece of metal that was used in the first test, and you can see it actually got past some of the rust scale in a couple of spots. On the second side, the sandpaper lost so much grit that it just didn't do a very effective job. There's a very narrow path where it did a good job of removing most of the scale, but there's still a lot of rust scale that has not yet been removed. So the steel that we used in the Makita test started off at 1,003 grams. It's down to 996, a loss of 7 grams. In the first test, the Makita did a great job cutting through most of the rust scale in several areas. On the second test, you can see the Makita didn't quite cut through the rust scale very effectively, and that's because there was a lot of damage done to the wheel in the first test. So the second test really took a toll on the Makita wheel. You can see there's a lot of sandpaper torn away from the backing. So the Walter started off at 995. It removed 4 grams. On the first test, the Walter successfully made it through a lot of the rust scale, but on the second test, it just lost a lot of its bite, and it didn't quite get through it. But it definitely did better than the Makita. So you can see there's a lot more wear and tear on the Makita wheel than there is on the Walter. The Walter is still in pretty good shape. So Diablo started off at 993. It's down to 984, a loss of 9 grams. The Diablo actually did a pretty good job on the second test. It started to cut through the rust scale, but the test ended before it could make much progress. This is the Walter wheel, and this is the Diablo. A closer look at each one of these wheels, and you can see that the amount of wear and tear is about the same. The Dewalt started off at 1,035 grams. It's down to... 1,029, a loss of 6 grams of weight. The Dewalt wheel does not seem to have done as good as the Norton or the Diablo in this test. Unfortunately, the Dewalt just doesn't seem to have much bite on the second test. It really did not do much as far as cutting through the scale. The Warrior wheel is on the right and the Dewalt wheel is on the left, and as you can see, the amount of damage to each wheel is very close to the same. So the Norton started off at 1,004 grams. It's down to 998, a loss of 6 grams. This is the results from the first test. You can see it cut through a lot of rust scale on the second test you can see it just didn't get through the rust scale very effectively this is the norton and this is the diablo and as
as you can see, the amount of sand grit wear seems to be a little bit more on the Norton. The amount of separation of sandpaper from the backing seems to be about the same. It's hard to argue that the best value isn't the Makita because it did a terrific job at removing rust and steel, removing the most out of all the brands. However, it also experienced a lot of wear and tear in the process. One could argue then that the Diablo should take first place because it didn't remove quite as much material, but the sandpaper is in a lot better condition. On the other hand, one could argue that the Walter and the Norton should be considered as the top contenders because they too didn't experience very much wear and tear, and those two brands in particular can be trimmed back, extending the life of the wheel. So I have a lot of DeWalt hand tools, and I like the brand for their tools, but I definitely do not like their flat disc. To me, it's costing twice what it's worth. It should be about the same price as the Makita wheel, but I paid almost $9 at a big box store for the DeWalt wheel. Regarding the Warrior wheel, it just has a poor design. I would not buy that wheel. It's way overpriced, even at $3.99. I have a lot of fun doing these showdown videos, but I'm also open to other types of video ideas that you have. If you have any, please leave a comment. I read every comment and I reply to as many as possible. Thanks so much for watching the video, and I look forward to next time.